by the name of Emmanuel Cabango, and I am an actor. It was a calling, in a way, and for a while I kind of avoided his calling because my main focus was sports. I wanted to be an athlete, I wanted to be a soccer player. Little did I know there was always this freedom in terms of like art. In high school, I liked drama, but I never joined any drama clubs. I did take drama classes in high school. At the same time, my mom loved movies. She used to make us, me and my siblings, watch a lot of movies and soap opera. So that's how I was kind of introduced to the film world. But mainly my thing was, was sports. I thought I was going to have an athletic career. I ended up going to George Brown College in Toronto. Played basketball there on the varsity team. And on my second year, I took a one-year theater program because it was always in the back of my mind, theater. My father did background acting when we were young. And uh, when I told my dad I wanted to get into acting or try acting, I was 15 and he put me in background. So one of my first background gigs was Mean Girls with Lindsay Lohan and Honey with uh, Little Romeo and Jessica Alba. But I was, I was always curious about, hey, how do I get in front and, and do the talking? For me, in the beginning, there was always this sense of, of like nerves, fear. And uh, for a while, I always questioned that. And until this day, you know, I still have those, uh, not anxiety, but a little bit of tension. And I think it has to do with, with me caring a lot about the art. With auditions, there's always this sense of like, oh man, okay, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Am I good enough? And after a while, I've been able to manage that through just reminding myself of how far I've come. First time I auditioned in LA, I was so excited. It was the first time I was going out there and auditioning in the room. This is pre-pandemic pilot season and I am on my way to this audition and I had rehearsed and rehearsed and worked on it. I was so excited. The role was a scientist. So I had to make sure that I was loose. I was loose with my jaw, pronunciation of certain words. So I'm there waiting, enjoying the air watching the palm trees just breezing by and I'm feeling good. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, my first audition in LA, yeah. And in walks actor, actress, she walks in and uh, she she was kind and she compliments what I was wearing. It was like, oh, nice jacket, nice sports jacket. It's like, oh, thank you. And that kind of threw me off. After she said that, I'm trying to recollect my thoughts and my preparation work. By the time that I went in the room, the nerves started to kick in again. Like, oh, great, right, now I'm nervous again. So I go into the room and they're like, okay, uh, please tell us your name and you know, da 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 da. And so I start doing my audition and as I'm doing my, my piece, I start saying the lines and I, huh, I choke. I can't remember my line. And like, oh no, it's okay, you know, let's, let's start again, you know, it's okay. Let's let that one go. Let's go again. I'm like, I, act, stop. I shake it off, whatever. And uh, I start again, and it, it comes to the point of that same spot where I choked up. I get to that point again, and I choke again. And I'm like, ha! Ah. This time I start sweating. <laughs> you can see the sweat wax on my shirt. Yo, that room felt like, it felt like a boiling room. It felt like I was in a sauna. I'm <laughs> I was so nervous and embarrassed. My favorite role I ever did is what I just did with you, Sway. I love that role. <laughs> and that role was fun because number one, it challenged me as an actor. Number two, it also challenged me as a producer, learning how to collaborate with the right team, how to put in my two cents while at the same time also, also trusting uh, the abilities of everybody else that I was working with. And it taught me how to lead, but also how to be a leader that follows. I was ready to say no four days before we went to camera. I was ready to say, guys, I don't think I'm ready. Um, that voice again that tells you, hey, no, you're not good enough try to kick in that liar you know why I also enjoyed my time on the set 
and this character was because before every start of the day, I led our team with prayer. As for me, that was the most important thing to start the day off with God before we went to camera. Sway really taught me there's gonna come a point where you know you can try to hide things, but the truth is always gonna bubble up to the top. Going forward, you know, I just always want to be sincere. I want to make sure that my intentions are pure and that anyone I encounter on my journey is able to get something out of me uh, so that they could take on for, for their own lives, betterment of their, their, their journey.